Tom. And... Ba-boom! Oh my god, let's see. Let's see how we did. We still have one week before it actually launches. Research available? New research available, no loading screens. Good. That's a little bit... A little bit hefty. Okay, you need to train. You need to train in design. Martin, you need to train in technology. Badly. D who else needs to train? Staff list. Uh, I need to train desperately. Martin needs to train desperately. Ethan. The other guy is at 400 for these, right? Yeah, Ethan needs to train a lot too. Ethan, train in... Uh, let's keep you, let's keep you going the design route on this one. Let's see. Oh my god. We got a 10. Oh my god. We got two 10s. Don't do this to me. Okay, yes. No. Ugh. Not my magnum opus. Shoot. The moon's got to be just aligned to get it right. However, we generated so much hype for this game. Let's see how the sales are. In fact, before the sales even go, I'm going to bump this up to 3 million. Oh, shut up. Shut up. 1 million in the first week. Oh, my God. Yes. Dude, they can have the truck engine. We just made Xenobraid pretzels. Go on vacation, you. Go on vacation. Just go on vacation. Lori, generate a game report. Oh my god. Yes. All right. All right, but get that MMO figured out. Send on vacation. Racked up 5 million units sold. Good lord. The new will be taken off the market. I'm glad we were able to get this out for it when we did. Alright, engine's not important for this game. New and RPG is bad. Wow. Probably could have sold more of an input on the new. Alright, they're doing their research ideally. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna keep training, actually. I'm going back and forth on that. Ethan, train. Uh, let's get you... Let's get you some tech. Actually, let's get you some, sp uh, some speed. Martin, research. Not research, train. Train some more in technology. You need to go on vacation, train, uh, you're kind of more of a design guy anyway. Let's go with that. Uh, Lorena can't do anything with. Train, you're a tech guy. So actually, at some point, uh, let's actually have you work on design a little bit so we can make you a special, we can, we can make you a specialist on one of these things. So let's have you take a game design course. All right, and you're still not high enough level to be able to, to even be able to get that training. So, oh, I think you actually need to be a design or technology specialist to get that. I haven't even bothered researching boost. Probably because I don't even have that. Like my, I usually get it on my main guy. And I don't even have that. Uh, you need speed badly. We are just a training machine here. Look at everything we're training in. She's really good at, at, at her job. I respect her greatly. Uh, she has the requi- Oh no, she doesn't have the requirements for that yet. Uh, let's have her start training in tech then to be able to get, uh, to be able to get a design specializ specialization. Oh man, we almost got the MMO thing going for us too. Boom! The new is no longer supported. We released three games for it. And one of them is still selling. 
All right, the MMO. Possibly the MMO are risky, are, are big, but they're also risky. In our research, we realized that before we can even, we're gonna develop an MMO, we, we need to create a special engine for it. We'll need to be able to create the MMO support feature for your staff once it is integrated. Okay. So we can do MMO support as research now. Speaking of research and development, we should probably get them on a new project. Uh, let's get them on AAA games before we do anything else. Because if we can get AAA games, we'll be able to sell significantly more than that on our next game. Xeno Braid, Braid Pretzels did phenomenally. I'm trying to... Oh, I can't get him to go on vacation because he's training right now in speed. 100... That didn't sell nearly as well as the last... As the, uh, as the Captain Ambiguous sequel. Wow. Interesting. Oh, we're close to making that magnum opus. All right. Let's do some contract work. Can't even get any research points from these anymore. The R&D boys would be able to get some some research points for us at some point if if I just like pump money into there and don't uh and don't bother on the waiting. All right. I don't care about the penalty. Let's keep doing contract work so we can get more research points. Why is technology a negative four? We put my, way much, way too much work into our contracts. I'm sorry, but if you think we're bad, then you're not good. Contract work. Ba-boom! All right. So I think at this point, we're still working on AAA games here. What can we do as far as research? We've got a lot to research. And I think for engine, we also need at some point MMO support to be able to do MMOs. So we're not going to worry about that now. Let me see. She's almost to being able to get a spec. I should probably do more training. I'm thinking we should train more, because if I can get a specialist, that'll be good for later use. So, she needs 180 in technology to be able to become one of these. Or, 810 design to become a dialogues expert. But, I don't want her specializing just in dialogues, though, because that doesn't seem like it would fare well. Ha, farewell. Ha, alright, uh, so let's give her more tech training. Let's give Martin more tech training, because God knows he needs it. I don't have enough research points for it. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna have to develop a new game. MMO's there, but we can't do it. Can't be small or medium. Wow. Uh, you know, we can research a new topic before we go into this. What do we got? Sports. Sports games are big. We can make a sports action game on the M box. It'll sell like hotcakes. Doesn't even matter what sport it is. I'll make a Louis Vuitton action game. Sports? Alright, let's go with a large booth and hopefully she'll be done with her training by then. Okay, good. Let's start development on a new game. Large for everyone. In the sports category. Under action. On the M-Box. Of the Woo. And the play system on the jet engine. We're going to call this, um... Oh, man. What should we call this? We're going to call this... Um... Shout out to my boy Proton John. Proton John's... Curling Expedition. That's right. We're making a curling game, folks. Let's do it. On the latest and greatest of 3D graphics. This is gonna be the best. Sorry, but there's no story in sports. There is, however. Uh, save game, multiplayer, and video playback. As well as, uh, maybe not skill trees. Game tutorials? No. 
We don't need character progression in this. We just need achievables. Bleep bloop. Okay. Gameplay. Gameplay's kind of a balanced bag. Let's put Tom on that. And Lorene can still be on that, because yeah, I don't need creativity on stuff. Proton John's curling expedition. Let's start with magazines and demos. Keep ourselves low and mysterious. Until G3 comes around, like now. And we start having to put it out anyway. Whoops. We did it! Voted number one booth this year and we got a lot of hype! Okay, so I've noticed something. The higher your hype is going into G3, the more of a hype bonus you get. I think it also has to do with the, how close the game is to being released. AI, net down, level design. Let's keep Ethan on there. Martin can finally start doing uh, a AI pretty well. Dialogues are not important for this at all. Let's go with the... Nah. Voiceover would be nice, but nah. It's a sports game! Who cares? Who cares? Graphics, however, are very important for a sports game. Marketing. Small campaign. Now we're really hitting them hard with the advertising. They're like, oh man. That advertising really struck home. Out of nowhere, a new company called Kick It has kicked up uh, a media storm by successfully crowdfunding the development of a new gaming console in just under eight hours. The console dubbed as Oya. It's a cube-shaped console uh, and will be under 100 credits. Interesting. At some point, I need to develop for the M-pad uh, as well. I don't think that goes off the market, though, at all in the rest of this game, anyway. Guys, we are in the last 10 years of our development cycle here. Wonder if we'll reach a million, uh, follow, uh, a million fans. Will we? Will we? Let's get Lorene on there. Let's get Tom on sound. Boost. Oh, God. Um, let's get David on sound. Sounds a more technical aspect anyway. I'll get Ryan Webb on, on, uh, on the, P yeah, the orchestral soundtrack for a basketball game. It's kind of funny because if you forget to take uh, off the the stuff for some day and night cycle, rich backstory. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, my my curlers are going to have the richest backstory. Marketing, large campaign. This is where we pound them with the big stuff. Hi, this is Arnie Kunkel of Electric Games. Uh, I got word that Tom is working on a new game. Yeah! We're throwing our hand to sports, man! We're gonna focus more on sound for sports, dude! In a recent interview, they decided to prioritize sound, and the industry professionals agree. Oh, uh, yeah. Simulation games are very... Shoot, I should have made it a basketball simulation. I think basketball action will still work out well, though. Look at all that sweet, delicious stuff. All right, AAA games are not complete. Uh, require a well-trained staff. It's it's best to have specialists in different areas to make sure the team uh, does their best work. In creating AAA games, we also uh, can use the R&D lab to develop a special marketing campaign, which greatly enhances the hype around the game. The hardware lab can also be used to develop special hardware, such as a keyboard, mice, headsets that are sold with the game. Boom! The game can be released, but we are going to... You know what? I'll pump one more ad campaign into this. It did not help. All right. And... Come on. Iron out those bugs, boys. And... Oh, God. It's tempting me to just stay with the development cycle. Stop! Stop making the game better! I want to release this sometime this year! Just in time for Christmas, too! Literally one week before Christmas. I wonder if the time actually affects that. Alright. Salary increases. Cooperative play and realistic weather are now available. Uh, we gotta wait another, wait another whole week for that. Let's go ahead and send you on vacation. 
you on vacation, you on vacation, and you on vacation. I'm actually gonna... Oh, here we go. Roton John's curling expedition. Let's see how it did. Eight. Loved it. Seven. Nice experience. A nine. More, please. A nine. One of the best. Oh, my God. All right. Generate a game report. Okay. Wow, we almost sold a million on our first week with this. It's not bad, actually, considering. Proton John's Curling Expedition has reached one million in sales. Well done. We really hit that Canadian uh, demographic there. Really hit that uh, Canadian demographic there, eh? I'm sorry to all Canadians. I don't even know what accent that was.